Hi Aquarius, welcome to your singles love reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, I decided to bring back this uh, singles reading. If you uh, are familiar with my channel, I did do this series back in the end of last year. Um, and I did have a poll on my community section. I asked viewers to vote for what readings they would like to see on the channel. And this, along with messages from Spirit, were voted back in. So I'll still be doing the Love Connection reading, general readings, and bonus readings, but instead of doing two love, two general, I'll be doing a singles and uh, messages from Spirit. So the messages from Spirit, April, they're all up. So if you'd like to go check that out, and uh, let me know what you think, and I hope you like this. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, could be past, present, or future. Take it how it resonates for you. And uh, we'll see what we have for you, Aquarius. So welcome, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe during this time. So what I'm going to do here, uh, Aquarius, is I'm going to pull one card. This is intended for new love, singles, wondering who's coming towards you, when will I find new love. It is intended for people who are totally single, may not have anyone in their life at this time. If you do have a connection with someone, even though you're not together, then you may want to watch the love connection reading that I do, but you are welcome to watch this also. So you may may or may not resonate with the whole reading as I'm going to look into uh, what kind of energy this person is in. We'll get their energy, we'll get their spirit energy, we'll get their love energy clarified with tarot, and then we'll look at... Um, where and how you may meet this person, uh, possible time frame, and then what kind of a connection it could be between the two of you. So that's what is planned for this reading. So let's see what we have here. First, I'm going to pull energy of this person. This could be um, energy they're in right now, something going on around them, um, or just their energy in general, whatever comes out here. And everything you need to know, Aquarius, is down below in the description box as well as the pin top comment. Decks I'm using and links to purchase them if you would like them for yourself. Uh, your love and general playlist if you'd like to go back. I do consider them timeless. How to reach out for personal reading. Social media links down there if you'd like to check those out. And if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that info is below. If you're not comfortable, um, if you'd like to tip or donate or energy exchange and you're not comfortable using PayPal during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for tip, donation, energy exchange. And if you do, thank you. All right. So, and if you are interested in all the readings, you can check out my channel first. Like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. All right. So, woo. Okay. So, Aquarius singles. Let's get one more good shuffle. Let's see. Incoming person. New love for Aquarius singles. What is the energy you like? Possible new love, incoming person, your next major person perhaps here, Aquarius. What is there? There we go. Contract. Okay, so this person here with six. Six is a healing, balancing number to me. So this could be taken many ways and when we get the other cards and then we clarify with tarot, they could be in the process of divorcing right now, or they could be divorced. They could just be uh, somebody that deals with contracts. They could be a contractor. Um, this could be a sole contract between the two of you. So we'll see how that plays out. So different messages there. So let's see. <clears throat> let's see. What their spirit energy is like. What is their spirit energy like? What is their spirit energy like, spirit, please? <laughs> but new love, who's coming towards Aquarius, spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is the spirit energy of this new person? Incoming love for Aquarius, please. Thank you so much. Let's take that one. <clears throat> and we have inspire passion life devoid of passion can be a boring uninspired blank canvas that solely drains the soul now is a time to reignite your passions and rejoin life this is an opportunity to set new goals which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred so this may be somebody who is now uh, regaining their passion passion back for life 
um, just passion in general. So they could be somebody that just came out of divorce that was very taxing on them. And now they're getting inspiration back. They're getting passion back for their life. All right, so. All righty, let's see. Let's see what their love energy is like. How are they feeling towards love in general? For Aquarius, please, incoming person, new love, who's coming towards them? What is this person's love energy like for Aquarius singles? Spirit, please, thank you so much. Right. For Aquarius singles, what is... Okay, all right, that one. What is the love energy like of this person? We have thinking of you. A loving thought, serendipity, and we have 29 there, which is 11. Wow. 11 to me is half of the twin flame number. And 11 is 2, which is unity. And this reminds me of the sun, which is the best card in the deck. And the sun can represent twin flames also. And I had felt soul contract when I pulled this out. So this could be a soulmate twin flame. Could be serendipity that brings the two of you together. Here. It's like you're thinking of this person, or they could be thinking of you because this is their energy. They could be thinking of their person that they envision who would like who they would like to be like their um, perfect person for them. <clears throat> and it could be soulmate twin flame energy here, male or female. So, wow. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. I think I did, but. So don't get too uh, distracted by the images on the cards. And you, Aquarius, are 11. And this person, 29, 11. This could be a soulmate twin flame connection here, especially with the sun and passion is all fire and contract. Wow. All right. <laughs> all right, Aquarius. So let's see. And for the signs, I'm only going to go by uh, court cards, not the majors or anything like that. So it's not so confusing. Because the court cards to me represent actual um, people. So, all right. Let's get one more good shuffle. Let's get one more. Ooh. One more good shuffle. Thank you for Aquarius. Let's clarify this energy for Aquarius single, please. For contract, inspire passion. Thinking of you. Four swords. That's like that thinking contemplation mode. It's like they are thinking in their head. You may have a, you may not even know this person. You may already have like a 5D connection or something like that. It sounds crazy. Six of swords. So there's that six energy there again of going into a much more uh, calmer, peaceful place. All right. So heading towards peace and tranquility. I feel like this person. It's like manifesting their soulmate twin flame and they don't even know who that person is and I feel like it could be you because the six sword all the swords here is air energy Libra Gemini Aquarius all right so let's get a few more to clarify this energy they're thinking it's like they're thinking and contemplating manifesting praying Praying for their person, their soulmate, their twin flame to go into, because you see the light there. So going into getting out and you see the light here also. So coming out of the darkness into the light, I feel light there, the passion there, the light there also. King of Pentacles. So they could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, King or Queen. So somebody here that could, uh, they could be in finances, they could be a boss, a supervisor, um, somebody of a high-ranking title um, that makes good money. They're very stable, grounded, secure. They're ready to give their pentacle to their uh, ultimate person here. All right, so is that, this is just shining out to me in that pentacle. So, all right, so two more to clarify their energy here. <laughs> And did I not just say to give their pentacle? I'm not kidding. This just flew out. Holy crap. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. They want someone for a long-term relationship, commitment of growth, abundance, a secure foundation, 
built to last for the long term. Prosperity. Wow. They're ready to walk down that path with their ultimate soulmate twin flame. And it's like they know what's coming. They could be very intuitive. Wow. Okay. So what else? What else for Aquarius? Four of Pentacles energy here. So now we have all this Pentacle and then we have swords over here, which is your energy. So I feel like they're guiding their heart and they're saving their offer for the right one that they know will be their soulmate to inflame. They're saving up everything for their right person that and they know who that will I think they I feel I think they know who that will be when they meet them it's like they know so we got four four it's about stability foundation so yeah they're saving they're saving everything for the right one all right all right so I'm not sensing like divorce or anything. I mean, could be, but I'm getting a lot of pentacle cards flying out here. So they definitely could be an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's right in the middle here. All right, so let's get how and where we may meet this person, Aquarius. What do we have here? Hmm. Okay, we have the star. Well, that's your energy, the star. Wow. Star. The three of wands. The empress. Energy. And the ten of pentacles. Wow. I'm getting like a mansion energy here. You may be like on vacation somewhere, visiting like a, a, a mansion or a museum or something like that. But I'm also getting traveling and water here also. Um, so some of you may be traveling. I mean, when we can travel, obviously we're all kind of in quarantine right now and aren't able to travel. Um, but when we are able to travel, may not be till fall, um, you may decide, you know, to go visit a museum or a mansion or, or a historical place or something like that. But I got two cards of water here. Or you may visit like a well-known like uh, natural attraction like a waterfall or um, something outdoors. Because they get water, water, water. Something about near you know, water or like an outdoor uh, retreating place, like a hiking place or somewhere where there's waterfalls and things like that. Or like a mansion, uh, a museum or historical place or something like that also. It could be like traveling on a ferry or um, a boat or something like that because you do see uh, ships and boats here also. Could be at nighttime or at like dusk. So I got nighttime energy here. So, I mean, you could, any one of those things, and you could just run into them uh, there and, you know, kind of like just strike up a conversation. You know, maybe talking about whatever, wherever you are or visiting. Just talking about, you know, oh, well, isn't this beautiful? Or, wow, look at that, you know, just uh, talking about different things here. Pentacle energy, again, a lot of pentacles coming out here. All right, so, I mean, we do have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is long-term commitment, marriage. The Empress is the Divine Feminine. The Star, divinely guided, wishes and dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism. Waiting for the ship to come in. So I feel like this person is, and I had said that, waiting for their divine person that they know is divinely guided coming to them. They know that. And they're going to be, or, they want to offer this Ten of Pentacles to the right one. And they, they know, they'll know it when they meet that person. I think they're just going to know. All right. So you see this person holding the Four of Pentacles. And I felt like saving all their Pentacles for the right one. And here's all their Pentacles. 
they're holding four, but they really have ten. <laughs> so, and they're going to offer one, but eventually there's ten there. So, all right. So let's get a time frame, a time frame, a time frame for Aquarius singles. That's way too many. Where we have take these. So we have Page of Swords, which is um, air, which is winter. We have Pentacle energy here, which is fall. And we have the Wheel, which is Sag energy, which is December into January, uh, no, November into December. So I feel November, December. Because November is still fall, but then December winter starts in December. So I'm definitely feeling could be either fall in the winter or November, December. I'm feeling. All right. So, and here's divinely guided energy with the wheel. So I mean, an honest communication here. Wow. All right. So they could be a hard worker also. All right, they could create something. They, they could actually work in uh, metals or something like that. All right, so let's see. Let's see. What kind of connection will this be for you, Aquarius, with this new incoming person? Getting twin flame contract, soulmate twin flame contract. That's what I'm getting. Wow. So what kind of connection will this be? For Aquarius spirit, please. Thank you. Oh, my cards in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. I don't know how my cards got reversed, but anyway. Seven of Wands in reverse. So the Seven of Wands is about standing up and fighting, being defensive. This person is not going to be defensive at all. Um, I feel like letting their guard down. Four of Cups, but somebody's going to be unsure here. Somebody's letting their guard down, wants to let their guard down. They don't want to fight. They don't want to be defensive. But then somebody's unsure. It could be you, Aquarius, because I feel like this person, wow. And I had felt that. This person, okay. Ace of Swords with the Two of Cups. They're totally, totally clear on what they want. And that's soulmate, twin flame union here. They have truth, clarity, peace, understanding epiphany, aha moment, open, honest, truthful communication, and they know total clarity here on two of cup energy. They know exactly, exactly. But somebody, five of wands, has inner conflict, and I feel it may be you, Aquarius. I feel like it may be you. I feel like, we, I feel like you're going to have inner conflict and not sure about this for some reason. And this person, I feel like, wants to give you everything. They want this contract with you. So anything else for the energy of the connection? Why is the Four of Cups and Five of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles. You may still want to stay single. You may meet them at a time when you're not ready. Um, I feel like they are. They are definitely ready. But I feel like the Nine of Pentacles is a single energy. Somebody who's abundant can take care of, their themse take care of themselves. Self-sufficient. So th this may be you, Aquarius. You may feel like you're I'm independent. I'm doing good. I'm on my own. And then you meet this person and you're like, wow, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want that cup. Having a little inner conflict um, about this. Maybe, you know, you just became single and you're like, you know, I'm enjoying the single life. I don't think I'm ready for this. So let's see. Let's see. And that could be that seven of wands energy. Like they may not, they may not want to fight, argue or anything like that. They just know what they want, but then you're probably sitting in this energy. All right. So anything else, anything else for the outcome of this, what will come of this possibly here for Aquarius, any other messages for Aquarius? Knight of Cups. So this is love moving forward. So now we have water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but we have a lot of earth here. 
So I think this love will move forward. Somebody will move forward in love. And I do feel like this is you. This is them coming forward to you. Definitely, definitely here offering their cup, male or female. So things could move forward here. Yeah, stress, fear, worry, anxiety. That's your energy, nine of swords. You're stressed out about this. Like, I don't know if I want this. I don't know. <sighs> Having fear. But now we have the queen of pentacles and we have the king. We have a matching couple. So this is soulmate to inflame energy. The king and queen of pentacles. Wow. Okay. But um, I don't know what you're going to do, Aquarius. Knight of Wands. So now we have fire and passion. Moving forward with love and passion. Excitement. Leo Sagittarius. So now we have air, I mean, we have um, earth, water, fire. So there is passion and love here. So closing out chapters, starting new chapters with the world. They're ready to, they could have closed out a chapter, ready to start a new chapter. They want you, you know, if you just close out a chapter, they want to start a new chapter, a new world with you. Now we have the queen. We had, did we have the king? Oh, no, I thought we had the king. No, but we had the ace. So now, and that's your energy, the Queen of Swords. So they definitely want this new chapter, this new cycle in life with you. Very strong, wow. Very strong, strong connection here. I can't make this up. With strength and the lovers, soulmate twin flame energy, very strong, strong connection and bond here. A lot of passion, desire, fire, um, love between two. But somebody feeling trapped. And stuck in their head but again here's the passion brand new beginning divinely guided excitement and passion and someone being ind indecisive I think that'll be you but I mean this is a the full energy is Aquarius and that's taking a leap of faith and jumping right in so you could realize okay maybe this is this is my wish fulfillment they definitely will see you in that way happiness and joy in every single way so somebody here will need to make a judgment call. Could be you, Aquarius, on this. Here is passionate communication back and forth. So you'll need to make a judgment call on here. Do I want this wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy in every single way and take this leap of faith? So you will need to make a decision here on this uh, contract, soulmate to inflame contract. A lot of excitement, passion, and fire. But stuck ahead about this soulmate strong bond what a soulmate twin flame and do or, or do i not want to stop that start this new chapter in life with this person so ultimately i feel like aquarius it's going to be up to you this person is definitely going to know what they want and that is soulmate twin flame union with you they have a uh, truth of clarity on this but you may be a little stuck in your head so up to you, Aquarius. So best of luck to you, Aquarius, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.